to UE5 BP Guru. Today, we're going to finally finish off the jumping system before we get into some more fun things. Um, I have again been over to Mixamo and got some of those lovely animations that we're so fond of. And for this one, I've got, uh, I'm going to find it and drag it in. It is called Falling to Landing. Um, let me drag that in. Just chuck it in here. That should be fine. Import all. Um, okay, and let's reopen up the drawer, and we should have a. Where is it? Falling to landing. Here we go. Now, this is fine. We actually want a falling uh, animation as well. What we kind of want is. We want this. We kind of want that falling. So this kind of second of frame. Um, and we kind of just want the second half. So what we need to do is we need to kind of split them up basically. And the way we're going to do that is if I duplicate this, duplicate it, and we'll call this one landing. Uh, underscore anim and we'll call we'll rename this one falling underscore anim now this might not be perfect but this is just kind of what we're going to go for right so let's open up the not the jump that would be very bad if we ruined that let's try um wherever the other one's gone landing anim there we go and um what we're going to do is we're going to find the point in which we want to uh stop the animation now it looked about like six would be a good one. Basically, we want it just before. I think that would be good, right? So what we do is we want to remove frame zero to six. And now if we play it, it looks like he's just landing. We'll close that one off and let's open up the falling animation now we want to do the opposite we want him to sort of we don't want him to be kind of falling we want him to sort of stay about sort of here maybe so let's remove everything from 9 to 13 let's just play now we don't want him to fall either so let's just Kind of keep him here. And now let's play. Uh, we don't even want that really. We just, we'll keep the one frame, I guess. Uh, two to four. Let's just play it. And he's kind of freaking out a bit, but it'll be fine. It's going to look weird. <laughs> uh, remove one to, that's fine. Okay, we can, we can handle that, right? So save that. And we'll go into our third person character. Now, what we need to do is open up our Anim BP. Now, we're going to be a little bit cheeky here. Because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the old, well, the default UE5. And we're going to kind of just take some, um, some sort of information from that, right? We basically want to determine when we should be falling and when we should be um, landing, right? And you can get the best example. This is what I normally do. I normally go into where the other characters are, go into the mannequins, go into the animations, and I'll open up Manny because that's where most of the information is. And we're just going to look at what they do. And that's, that's kind of what I do normally is I just kind of get myself a little bit of a refresh. So this is just kind of a, a main tip for you guys. Uh, in which we want to look at this and as you can see the for loop right so we've got our jump where it's obviously jumping and um, okay uh, so it plays the jump animation then it plays the falling animation uh, and then it needs to decide when to land Um, so the way I'm going to do it, 
looking at that is so we've got jumping now we don't want this one so we can break that node link so we just want to know is he in air so we set him to jumping and then we set uh, we get a new state called falling and then we just want a um a new state called landing and then once he's landed we'll go back into idle oh uh okay that why does it do it like that uh, i think it's just, oh okay it's just it's just where it is right uh let's do this instead right so we can see the the circle still break that node why that was weird i don't know what's happening we'll just we're gonna go with it <laughs> So we've got it in air, then we go into our jumping, and then we want uh, time. Uh, da, 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 da. Time remaining on, that's what I was looking for, time remaining on jump anim. And then we want to say, we want to get a, ah, what am I doing? Less than, I don't know, 0. Point. We want to make sure that the animation plays. And then once it's less than that, we go into falling. And then from falling, if we are, uh, if we are not boolean, so if we are not in air, like so, we can then go into landing, and then from landing we just want to get uh, time remaining. Oh, we need to plug in an animation first. So let's plug in the landing animation there. Go back into locomotion and plug in falling. Uh, loop the animation on the falling, by the way. We want to make sure that loops. Uh, and then in here, we should be able to get that uh, time remaining on landing. And then we say is less than 0 0.001 and if that's true we can go back into our idle now let's give this a test there we go it's working there you go so if i just go back up there again you, it's, it's a very split second because we're still not really high enough but we jump we go into our falling animation and then we land now um there's one thing we need to change because the problem is is that if i land i can still move forward even though i'm producing my landing um animation um so what we need to do is determine when we're landing okay so after racking my brain for a while, uh, I remembered that there is actually a special event we can call um, called on landing. Now, this is a wonderful little custom styled event that you can call. It's pre-created. There's nothing you have to do on it. All it's got is like a hit event, but we're not going to need that for what we're trying to accomplish. All we need to do is pull out from this and do exactly what we were doing on the event tick but this takes care of when we actually land okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to do exactly the same thing we're going to uh set um character movement uh no sorry uh set movement mode like so and we want to send set it to none i don't forget to get uh character movement to do a get of character movement uh, copy and paste because we're going to need that twice and then we're going to do uh, delay 
and that, again that delay will be 0 0.9 seconds we'll plug that in and we'll just go for walking and um so set the first one to none second one to walking my animation lasts 0 0.9 seconds it all depends on which landing animation you're using don't forget to compile and press play now we're up here we get the same animations it's doing the landing animation you'll see it still do the fall animation and we now can't move so if i run and i land it stops me moving for a second and then i can carry on but every time i jump and land it's going to stop me for 0 0.9 seconds now you have to make a decision whether that's something you want for your game or um whether you don't want that now i do want that i want this so i when i land i have to stop for a second because let's be honest not many people are gonna land from a jump like this and be able to continue moving running etc so if you're going for realism the likelihood is this is something you want again if you're trying to emulate daisy daisy does something very very similar hopefully you found this useful uh again we have got the discord up so if you do need any help please join the discord uh we are a group of like-minded game developers and you will I'm sure you'll you'll fit in nicely and you'll be able to ask questions, etc. in there. And there's plenty of helpful people. Um, other than that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.